getting ready for installation day and we have two vans here from the closet factory they have just arrived you can see the inside of the van and this is one of my large drawers and if you look at it you'll even see the drawer pull already on the drawer okay and this actually looks like all the drawers are in this van okay here's the other van not quite sure what's in here um, but it is all the cut pieces for bookcases and for cabinets okay so now we're starting to get the um, the shelves and stuff moved in and um, just want to just do a quick pan so that you can see um, what it looks like before before the cabinets are installed okay so here we are um, they have put the countertops on top of the base cabinets right in the center in front of the window is the island and we're putting up bookcases now um, that we're going to store um, stamp sets on those bookcases so and if i pan around you'll be able to see all the drawers and everything that's going to go in later all right I show you what's going on here. Right. Hi, welcome back to Be Creative Stamping. My name is Tammy Shia, and I'm a Stampin' Up! Independent Demonstrator. Welcome to the first phase of my craft room. Right now, I am standing at my new stamping island, and um, I had this designed so that I could put my cards here and work on designing them. And I'm going to start over here this morning at the end. And when you open these cabinets, you'll notice that I have these pull out trays. And this is where I will put my cutters. And here I put some of my punch boards, actually all of my punch boards. And I'm also going to put my scoring tools here. But for now, I just want to show you what the cabinets look like before I fill them. Also, if you'll notice right here on the knobs, there's a B for B Creative Stamping. So um, that was fun to pick out that hardware. And I'll have, a re I'll have a resource page of everything that I've used in the room. Here, we open up again. And this time, we have pull out um, drawers. And these drawers were designed with our punches in mind. And so I'll be able to fit my punches right in here and line them up so that I can actually see the image on the top of the punch. So these drawers were made for those punches. I also have another drawer made for the punches. And then down here at the very bottom, I have got um, some of these Lucite dividers, and so I can put odd-shaped punches here or border punches. So this is more of just a general drawer for odd-shaped punches. I can't wait to fill these up. All right, and these drawers right here are actually designed to fit our stamp sets, clear and wood. And so I have four drawers here. They're all the same. This one might be a little bit deeper. And this is where all my stamp storage will be. And also notice the drawer pull. Again, it's got my little B theme going on. They were really fun to find. Okay, we've got a bookcase right here. This is also for stamp sets. This was designed to fit my stamp sets perfectly. And I can also adjust these shelves. I can adjust this one and this one if I ever decide to put something else there. And over here in this corner is my favorite piece. This was all dead space in here. So my designer and I decided to make this a little trash chute. And so my trash can just rests in here. And I have one in this corner, and you're going to see one in the opposite corner as well. 
So now we'll get over here to the window, and it may be hard to see due to the, uh, the light from the window. But here I have a little window seat, and so I'm going to be designing a window seat cushion right here with two pillows and a balance to match. And these drawers are large pullouts, and these are for my Stampin' Up! orders, so they don't have to sit in a corner all stacked on top of each other. So love this feature that I can get that out of the way. All right, and now we're gonna move over to this side, and this is actually a mirror image of the other side of the room that I just showed you. So again, you're gonna know the stamp set drawers, four of those, and um, again, my stamp set shelves. And you'll see I've already put some of my stamp, set, um, stamp sets up here, just so I can see what they look like. I'm super excited to fill this room today. Again, another trash chute. And I'm gonna start down at this end. This is my big shot area. So when you open this, you're going to notice that I can put embossing folders in here, uh, big shot dies, and big shot supplies. And so both of these drawers are created with the loose side dividers. I can take these out for longer dies if I need to. So very versatile. And here at the very bottom, we designed a deeper drawer so that uh, my big shots can fit in here. I can easily get two big shots in here and maybe a third if I lift up this handle. So that's also a possibility. And you'll notice the same thing, whoops, get that shut. You'll notice the same thing in this cabinet. I pretty, I think I did the very same thing. So this is divided with the loose side holders that can be removed. Another one as well. And then the bottom is also just a pull out drawer. Now this is also for the big shot because when I designed this room, I looked at my Big Shot inventory and I had quite a lot of supplies. So I really think it's gonna take both of these cabinets to, um, to be able to store all my Big Shot products. This countertop is my working area. This is where I'll do my Big Shot work. And on the opposite side of the room where I have the scoring, uh, my scoring tools and my cutting tools, that'll be a cutting area as well. All right, so now let me show you my island real quick. I've, this is designed so that I can put a bar stool here. And when you open this up, this is designed for my group paper. And then I've also had two drawers on this side and two on this side. And these were designed so that I can put my adhesive in here. And I can also store my Stampin' Scrubs. And another feature are these pull-out, actually these are not pull-out shelves, they're open shelves, but it was designed with these baskets in mind. So this is a project that I'm working on, and here are the supplies for that project. When I'm done with it, or if I need to put it away and clear off my island, all I have to do is slide it right in here. So I actually have six of these, um, these work areas where I can just slide in trays. And one other thing, when they brought the countertop yesterday for the table, the classroom table, it was damaged. And so today they're going to be installing a new um, table and that table, if you look at this line here, the table will go all the way from this end, all the way to this end, and then it will come out this way. And I can't remember how long my table is, but it will seat um, eight people comfortably. So I can actually teach and create my cards up here for my, uh, for my customers, or I can actually sit at this table too and also teach. So I've got some options there. So stay tuned, I'm going to fill up these cabinets and then I am going to show you again how everything fits and hopefully I'm gonna work on getting some better lighting because we need lots of lights in here. Thanks so much for joining me and please stop by again soon. Bye.